cooking them on a largemouth bass. Uh, I just caught this bass last night. Uh, first things first, we're going to carve a uh, fish for them for this one. This is, uh, if you want to order one, then you have to take the measurements. I'm going to give you the measurements to take. You need about four measurements, okay, if you want to order one. You need a total length. Try it. Some, some uh, taxidermy houses are different from others. Take your total length from your tip of your mouth to your tail. Uh, some, like I said, some, towns, some taxidermy suppliers, that's all they need. Others want from the eye to the base of the tail. Okay? And then circumference all the way around. And some of them want from the gill, this is the orbital part of the gill plate, go from here to the base of the tail. You take, take those measurements, go from the tip of the mouth to the base of the tail. That way you got them all covered. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and straighten this fish out a little bit. We want to go ahead and trace this out. What we're going to do is take a pen or a pencil and go ahead and, and trace around the fish like so. Hold your pencil straight up and down. like so. Now we're going to go, I'm going to make a little indent right here because that's where the base of the tail is, okay? And then I'm going to start in front of this anal fin and go. And then went up to the anal fin. Now what we'll do is, we'll, I'll show you that when we get done here. Okay, I'm going to go around the mouth here. Hold your pen straight up and down. You might run out of ink. It never fails. <laughs> Anyway, have it fair. Just hold your pen, hold your pen perpendicular, and just follow that fish around, just like so. Go all the way around. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put where the gill meets up under the mouth here. Put a little mark right there, and put one over here. When I carve my form, I want this part of the fish. It'll be just like this from here to around here. And that's that's the that's what we're gonna use for our mannequin right there. Okay? And uh, I'll show you just exactly what we'll do right here as soon as Toby gets done being needy. Hi Toby. You needy, you need your daddy. Toby needs your dad today. He's storming out. He's scared. Okay, let's get down. Right? Okay, now what we'll do is we'll take this fish off of here. Okay. This is where our back fin was up here. There's a hump right here. And this is our tail right here. And this is where the anal fin was. We're going to just draw that in. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring this down around here kind of exaggerate that a little bit. Okay. Now what that'll do is that'll give us a kind of a good measurement. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take measurements on this fish. I'm going to bring the fish right back down here where we were. We're going to take measurements on this fish. I'm going to take this measurement right here at the tail well, about halfway between, we'll mark it here. About halfway between, right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, measure that with the caliper right here. We're going to put that on there. And then what we'll do is we'll get our...
measurement here is an inch and a half. Okay, that, that's telling me what that thickness is going to be. Alright, inch and a half thick. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up from where the fish tail is. Let's see. We'll get him right here. We're going to go right in front of the anal fin, okay? Put an arrow right there. And we're going to go down here and take our measurement on this fish. Right in front of that anal fin, about halfway down. And that'll get us pretty close. Now we're talking two inches. Two inches thick, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up in the belly area here, right in this area. Put an arrow there, and we're going to do the same thing. Two and three quarters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here, right in this area, right here where the gill is, okay? That's also two and three quarters. Okay, now what you could do We've got the fish measured up, okay? What I want to do, we've got, the, we've got this measurement here. We know what we're doing here, okay? What we're going to do now, we're going to get this ready to go. We'll keep this here. Now, if you want, you can draw your fish out like so, too, on the top. Okay, you just get yourself a little picture here, and then you do your measurements right here. Same measurements. Same measurements as these right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to wait and do that. We'll set this aside. Now what we're going to do, is this is going to be the show side of the fish, right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to flip him, just like so. Now I'm doing this as you would do it at home, on a piece of newspaper if you're a beginner. Okay? You lay out your fish, you look for scales missing. And there were some scales missing on this side because I laid him on the rocks and he flopped, but anyway. Other than that, he's in good shape, but the other side is better. This is a good side, so we want to make our cut on this side, right here. Okay? Now what we want to do is we want to get our scissors in here, right here. I got one scissor to start it, and then I got a good pair of scissors here that'll finish it up. You got to have a couple different kinds. Uh, one that'll cut through heavy bone, and one that'll do the scales and skip. Now what you want to do is just go straight up the middle, right to about here, on the, right above the fifth. A lot of times they say follow the lateral line, but that, I don't do that. I go straight up. Now, I'm going to be working at a little disadvantage here because i got to work backwards to film it. So. Anyway, this is going to be a video that takes you from getting a bass on the table to getting that bass mounted up. We'll show you everything there is. If you don't want to... Okay.
Okay, now we're up into this bony area under the gill, right here. You need a good pair of scissors to get through this area right here. Go ahead and just uh, cut that. Cut up here, get it get through your bony plate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our knife. This is a fish knife. And get for now. It's got a serrated blade on it. It reach, works really well for doing fish. You can use about anything. A butter knife will work. You just want to try to separate that, but it just does a good job for me. The tools you need for doing a fish are need some scissors, knives, and other things like that. I'll show you that here. Now you get down to the tail here, right in this area here, go ahead and split that out to the edge, like so, so it lays over. And just keep peeling that that, that hide back like so. We'll see if we can turn this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. What you want to do is you want to get right down to the bottom of the fin right here. And I'll show you what we'll do. You can feel that on your knife. You get right down there. And then come on up this way. Doesn't matter if you leave any meat on there. Because we're going to scrape that off anyway. Now what you got to do is you got to come back here with the good scissors. We've got this broke loose here, but we can't get this loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right in here like so and cut that right away from where it meets the gill there. See we got our other scissors here to work better. Hold your gill up and just kind of go up along there, right up to the throat area. Right up into here. You see this area right here? That's where we want to cut to, right into that area. I'm going to see if I... No, I don't, I, I don't want to get any closer because I want to be able to see the whole thing. But anyway, now we've got this here. Take and bend this back. Real slow, just bend your bend it back. And you can take your knife and tease that away as you're going. Okay? Just take and pull that down. That's no biggie. Now see how we got this here? Okay. We're going to go, now we're going to go ahead and, uh, what I was telling you about that fin right here, pull that up, you can feel it, get your knife underneath the rearmost portion of those spines, your, your scissors here, and just cut those loose. I've got, see, now I've got this cut loose here. And you can see it right here. That's where those fins were going up into the body area right here. We've got that cut loose right now. So that side is about done right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this uh, top side here. The top half of the fish. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of Tease that knife through there. You can use a sharp knife if you want, but just be careful. Now we're, we're going away from the... See how we got down here to the tail raise right here? We're just going to go ahead and tease that loose. tension on your skin. Now you've got some some pretty good fin rays going down into the body cavity right here. All the way along the top you've got these fins that are just 
the real tough. You got to use a pretty good scissors on them. And you see how I'm kind of teasing that back. Now what we got to do, and this is the tough part, is here. You get your scissors in here on the top of the gill right here. Go along the top on the inside there. I'm saving the gills here because I'm going to do an open mouth on this. Open gill, open mouth. I think that's about the best way to do a bass because it makes them look good. That's, that's just the way they are. Okay, so I, I busted that loose. Now I'm still teasing that, that away from there. Okay? Now what I want to do is we've got to get this fish out of here. But first of all, let's get the Let's go up along this top with our scissors and get this fin broke loose. Just put your, you can feel your, your scissors go underneath the skin here. You can hear those cut loose as you're cutting. Put your finger on the other side, that way you won't pull through. And just take it easy. And these go all the way up to the head almost. All the way, because you got fins that go all the way up there on the back. See, I'm clear up into here right now, and there's still I'm still cutting loose. But anyway, we got that. Now what we're going to do is we got to cut this backbone loose, and you'll see how the ribs come up here. The backbone is right here, right up here, about even with the eye coming down. Got to have a good pair of scissors to get in there. Get her down in there, cut right through that backbone, just like so. We got that loose. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this, everything. We're going to be working on the underside now. So you got to be a little bit more careful. Get your knife and go right along this, the bottom there, just like so. Kind of tease your knife through there. And go from both sides now. now. I can feel my fingers underneath here. And then I'm just going to go towards the back a little. Just like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down along here. I'm going to take and make this cut right along these fin rays right here. If you don't get that close, we can trim that up later. Don't worry about it. When we give her a final cleaning, we can get that thing cleaned up. Now you can see right there, I got that cut loose. See that? Now you can take and pull this if you want. Be very gentle. But what I do is I make sure that I try to cut as much loose as I can. And for a first timer, I'll give you a little advice here. Take and section this up, one piece at a time. Take this piece out, cut it through here, and take it out a section at a time, okay? Uh, and I'll show you. This is what we'll do. We'll actually do that here. Because this is a tape for a beginner, so. Cut down to the backbone here, feel in there. Cut your backbone in half, and then you can just kind of pull gently, and we take that right out of there. Okay, now we'll do the same thing up here. We're down about halfway up. Okay. Go ahead and just tease some loose on the back side if you have to. Makes it easier to work with. You got a, just a little bit more room to work with. You get that out of there. That's this piece here. We'll go ahead and cut down through there with my scissors. Try to break that loose. There we go. Now you'll see how this comes out. Just kind of pull that right on out. Hold on to your skin down below. Put some pressure on here so you aren't pulling, putting too much on there. 
Now she's full of eggs. Now don't feel too bad about some people get hung up on not wanting to mount fish, females and that. Well, hey, like I was saying before, we got so many bass in this area that you're not gonna you don't hurt the population a bit by taking a few out of it. And uh, having a representative species of each one is no big deal. You aren't going to hurt the species at all. Uh, some people would have you believe it, but you aren't going to. If there's a fishing season on them and they have limits, it's it's going to be okay. They wouldn't put limits like that if you if they wanted them put back. They they need to take so much out, otherwise, like farm ponds, you can stunt the pop, you can stunt your fish, ruin a farm pond. But not taking good care of it by harvesting the fish that need to be harvested out of there. Okay, now what we got, we took this third piece out. Now you see how I got this here? I cut the this loose from the anus here. Now what we got is, is right up into the throat area here, you'll see it's kind of what I call a gullet. Cut that loose. We don't need that anymore. We want to get rid of these guts out of here. And we got all the guts out right now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, here we are right here. We got this thing ready. We're going to do the final flesh. We're going to get the final meat out of it. They can sell you all the tools they want, but a, a good old spoon works pretty good for getting this meat out. Now never go like this with the fish when you're taking the meat out. Always go across like this. That way your scales will stay in better. And just take a hold of that and pull gently. Just like so. Now you see I'm, I'm getting a lot of meat out of there. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Just go ahead and... See how I'm doing that? Like I say, a bass, a bass or a bluegill, they're tough. You couldn't do this with the crappie, this treat it this way. Crappie or a, or a trout is a whole different whole different fish. Their scales are really fragile. We're doing is we're scraping the show side of the fish right now. Anyway. You see here, we're down into the belly area. Just kind of tease at it. Work it loose. Some you have to work like so. And then you can cut it off with the scissors. If you get too much in the way, Cut it off with the scissors and get it out of there so you can see what you're doing. But now you can see I'm right in about this area right here is right in here. Right around the fin butts. That's a that's a different area to try to get to. You gotta be kind of careful. Get in there and get that out of there. Fin butts have a lot of a lot of meat in them, a lot more than what you think. There's a whole muscle right here that makes that fin work. There's a, there's a lot of meat there and we want to try to get that out of there. And uh, a lot of times what you do is you got extra bone here you got to get rid of. So you just be careful. This is what I'm talking about, the fin area right here, the fin butt. Let me get rid of this stuff right here and I'll show you. Okay, the fin butt area is right here. And there's a lot of meat. I'm going to take a little tool here and scrape that out of there like so. See that? Just when you think you've got all the meat out of there, you'll find a little more. This is the Sometimes on certain fish, if you don't get all that out, you'll have oil leakage out of there. 
and uh, we don't want that. You know, bugs get in there and that. But you take your knife and you can feel around here. Here's that thin butt, still working on her. And anyway, it's right here. You can kind of see it. I'm going to get the tool here. This is a old bottle opener. This tool I got right here. It's got a neat little handle and then it's got a, a neat curved tip on it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, that's what I use to get into tight spots like that. And then just keep picking away at it. Like so. But anyway, we've got this show site about done. So we're just going to keep working at it. We're going to go down here to this right here on this bottom side here. They got some tough tendons up the, up their back, so you got to be you got to get those. You see, how I'm getting that. You can tell the difference here. I've got that out of that. I've got the meat off of this side, and I don't have it off of this side, so. And then we'll come back and do this uh, under the belly here. The meat hangs in there pretty tight, so you got to kind of hold that while you pull through there. There's not a lot of meat there, but sometimes you can take a scissors and cut that loose. Now, if you don't cut that loose, when you go to mount that up, you'll have a bulge there, and when it dries, you'll have some shrinkage, and that's what problem with a lot of fish is you get excessive shrinkage if you don't get the goodies out of there. I'm working back here by the by the back fin here. You see what I've done? I've got this back fin. Sometimes you have to take your knife and go like so and get down in there and then you got to cut more of that off. I've got that that fin right down about the skin level, which is what I like. See that? We won't have to worry about that at all now. We'll do this one here in a little bit. Now, I've got to turn this around so I can work on it. I can't work on it that the way I've got it. What we're doing is we're taking this right here, and we want to get this meat out of here. This is the fin butt area on the other side. I'm going to get as much as I can with the spoon, okay? See, here's the fin right here. And here's the fin butt. <clears throat> I'm going to go up into here, pull some of this stuff out. And you, I'll tell you what, on your, now what you have on, on all fish is you have this throat latch area right here. I call it throat latch. They have kind of like a bony substance, or it is a bone actually that goes up, up, and it connects to their bottom jaw. And sometimes what you have to do is you have to cut this out with the scissors. You can't get at it any other way. I've tried a lot of different ways, and there's so much meat there that you have to try to get that out of there. And here's what we got on this side over here, is right here. We cleaned the meat out of here, but on this side, the show side, there's still meat there. So we have to try to get this loose and get this cleaned out best we can. Now you just take your scissors and just cut a little bit at a time here. You'll get her. Okay, now what I got is I got got it where I got that bone out of there and I can take and 
to scrape a little bit out of there. And what you can do is you just take your scissors and just cut that loose when you get to it. Now see this here? We've got to get this meat all out of here. And get our tool up in there. And just scrape that out. get all that meat out, you'll have some leakage problems with that. Anyway, we're getting that meat out of there. Just like so. Okay? And you look up under there, I got most of that meat out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get, go get the rest of this throat bacteria. We're going to have to cut that a little, just like so to break that loose. Okay. Well, you see what I did here? Got rid of most of this extra bone, which is nice. Nothing wrong with that. You see on your throat latch areas of a lot of fish, there's a lot of meat. And there's a lot on a bass. I just get my scissors and just kind of work it evenly down. Like so. Press up with your finger and you get that. Now, if you tear this loose, don't get all hung up about that. We can always fix that. There's no biggie. Cut that loose all the time if you're baking an artificial head. So, it's no biggie to do that. We can fix it. Now, go ahead and take your, take your spoon or tool, get up in there and get that extra meat out. See that? Right here. You can see this extra meat right here. I'm going to turn this a little bit so we can... So, if I can't get it with that, I'm going to get it with this. And it's still got a piece of bone there, I can feel. Okay. We got that done. I mean, we, we did a good job there. Might be a little bit more meat up here in the fin butt, but we're going to get that out. Like so. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take and clean this up a little bit see where I sit here. Okay. Now you see right here, we've got some right here in the belly area. I'm going to hold this tight and I'm going to scrape that off. Now you can cut that off with a knife if you want. You can do just what I did. Now what you got here is you got these bottom fins right here. You have to get those separated. So what I do is I go just like so, and I'll split those. And then you can use your scissors and trim around there and get that meat off there. They got a little bit of muscle around there. There's a lot of muscle on, on around those fin butt, and that's just what that is. Now if you cut those loose, it's no big deal. We can fix that too. So anyway, here we go. We got we got these separated. You see that? How I'm in between there. Just keep picking away at that and get that meat. I got most of that meat now. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and do this top fin here. Get this all cleaned up, this top area here and this top fin. Now what I was telling you about before, take your knife and run down along that fin on both sides like so. 
You see how that kind of stands up that way? That kind of breaks it loose. We're just going to go ahead and cut that loose there. And we're, we're right down there. Yeah. We did a pretty good job cutting that loose at the beginning. But they run all the way up to the head here. So, Okay. And then what you do is you just take and finish scraping that out. There's kind of some fish have a layer of fat up along there. Uh, I don't know why they do that. Trout especially have a layer of fat. Just go ahead and scrape that loose. And now we're doing this side of the fish, the top side on the other side. Hold your fish and just pull gently. See that? How I got that? Just go ahead. If you got some along here, the backbone, just dig in there and get it out. Just like so. Now we're getting up in this area right here, the head area. Let me get another piece of newspaper here. Okay. We're right up into this area here, the head. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to get everything cleaned up before I go up into that head. That's kind of a tricky area sometimes. So you just take and, and pull that loose. See how I'm doing that? I'm going with against the I'm going the opposite of the way the scales lay. Okay. There we go. You see that? Okay. Now we've got the head area. This is a hard area because you've got part of your backbone in there. You've got your brain. You gotta get clear down here between the eyes. Okay? And we still have meat up into here, see? So we got to get clear down in here. The only way to do that is with your tool, your scissors. So, you go down along the side, just kind of feel. You can feel your underneath, just kind of go as you're going, just kind of tease that away. Okay? This is probably the hardest part of doing a fish. You can feel that down in there. You can feel your scissors going down. I can feel that scissor point clear down in here. Okay? So what I do with them, I'm getting that broke loose. You'll hear a lot of bones crunching. What you want to do is you, there's kind of a bony plate there. And it goes up kind of alongside the head right here. Got to break all that loose in there, and that's what we're doing right now. Now, what you want to do is pull your, your gills up out of the way, like so. And you see, this is part of the backbone here. Get reach in there about as far as you can go, and just go ahead and cut that loose, like so. And then grab it with your scissors and just kind of pull it out. You see that piece of bone in that that comes loose? We've cut it this way and we've cut it this way. And then we've cut the cut it again here and twisted it out. And now you've got your hole right here. And we're right down into the brain. Here's the brain right there. It's kind of a milky looking substance. White. Okay. We're down into the brain. What we need to do is we need to get our some kind of tool in there. This works great. Get the, get the meat out as much as you can. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, see look how much meat come out of there. Now we still have some bone here right along the top. So I need to cut that loose. Need to get that all out of there. This is a hard area to work with right here. This is this is tough. So, you see how I'm down in here? I'm all the way down in there. I've, I've got the brain out. I'm into that area. We'll be able to pickle that area. When we put it in a pickle, it'll get down in there. 
but we, we're doing good. Okay, now take your tool, scrape that out. Scrape anything else you need to scrape here, too. So the more you get out, the less shrinkage you'll have. Okay, see that? It's kind of hard to explain. You almost have to... I don't think I can explain to somebody how to do it. They have to see it. But anyway, we're way down in there. We've got our spoon. It's down. We're, we're right down in here. Which, so we got the brain, okay? You see that? We got it all right there. There's the hole where the brain was, right there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we got this, we got this, we're going to clean her up a little bit, see, so make sure we aren't missing anything. We're going to take the tail, make sure that the tail is in good shape. I want to take my knife and go underneath here a little bit. Make sure that that's in good shape. Get as much out of there as you can. And sometimes you end up with shrinkage around the tail. And that happens. We'll fold it in. Anyway, there we go. What we're going to do now going to work on the eyes. Let's recap what we've done here. We made our split up the center. We took our knife, cut down the center here, split that tail so it'll fold over. Same thing on the top. We cut around the gills, cut around the head here. We got everything laid out. Then what we did is we went underneath here with our knife, back and forth from both sides. Cut it loose. Cut the fish in thirds. Cut her loose on the bottom. Cut her again here in another third. Pull that out. And then we uh, did our fins. We got up along the edges here like so with our knife. Cut them loose. And then did that one. Did this one. Did this fin here. Split that. Got these fins here. These pectoral fins. Got the meat out from them, out of the out of the butts here, right here, and uh, that way we can put a little clay in there or whatever and get keep doing that and fill that up real nice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the eyes. What we'll do is come to this side right here, get a tool under there and pull that eye out. Well, you can measure this eye and see how big it's going to be. Measure millimeters. We've got 10, 18 millimeter eyes. So, you keep that in mind, 18 millimeter eyes we need for this fish. Okay? Now, we've got that done. We'll write that down, 18 millimeter. I'll make a picture on my drawing here. 18 mm. Okay, we got that. Now what we got to do is get this cheek meat out. So what we do is we take a knife and go just like so. Cut that skin. Now you can see I'm breaking this muscle loose from the top here of the cheek. Just like so. They got a lot of, a bass has got quite a bit. Now what we do is just turn your knife the other way and break it loose from the bottom. And then take your tool like so, get it in there, and pull that out. You see this meat coming out of there? That's all cheap meat. It's all cheap meat. We need to get that out of there, otherwise you'll end up with excessive shrinkage. Doesn't matter so much on this side, but it does matter on the other side, on your show side. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. You can take your finger and get up there too if you want. Get your pool in there. Get that meat out of there. Okay. Well, I got that eye, the non show side. Now we're doing the show side. Okay? You want to get the eye out of there. Just like so. Now, you can go ahead and get your knife in there. Cut that membrane right here to separate the cheek piece from the eye. And you can see your blade going up along the edge of the skin here. Now, if you go too far, you'll come right out the bottom. And you don't want to do that. If you do it, it's no biggie. But anyway, so we're, we're sitting there. I got the top of the muscle cut loose. Okay? I can see it. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Get that force loose. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get my tool in there. see this meat when it comes out. I'm getting quite a bit of it. You see it there? We'll just keep picking at that. You want to get most of the meat out of there because this is a pretty good bass. Got a lot of meat up in there. Okay, now what we're going to do, we've got everything done here. We've got, the, we've got the cheek meat out. We've got a beautiful fish here. What we're going to do is we're going to rinse it off. Okay. We're going to take and rinse this fish completely off. And then we're going to put it in... Uh, I've got a five gallon bucket here, a 50-50 mixture of uh, denatured alcohol and water, and that's my, what I use as a preservative. We'll put him in there until I get a form ready for him, and the eye's ordered. I might have one eye, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll get the form, well, we'll get the eye made, or ordered, and then when we get ready to carve this form, we'll do that form. I'll show you how to do that. But anyway, this is going to be a good fish. And uh, just take and rinse him off. Put him in your mixture of 50-50 denatured alcohol and water. And that way, that'll preserve that until you're ready to use it. And uh, that'll keep that preserved for... Well, I've had stuff in there for years. And it's still good, so...